Okay. Next we're going to do crutch fitting. Uh, this is for an athlete who is not able to walk or bear weight either on their foot, their knee, their hip, uh, or needs assistance walking. Uh, we're going to fit uh, uh, Katie for, for uh, two crutches. Uh, for this simulation, we are going to say that her, she has injured her right ankle. So this would be after the assessment. You, know, you did your evaluation and, and she needs to, to rest it or, or be mobile. So the crutches come in, in different types. We can get uh, wooden crutches or aluminum crutches. And for this one, we will use aluminum crutches. You always want to check the crutch to make sure it has adequate pads in the, um, at the top and the bottom. To make, inspect them to make sure that there's no tears or they're worn. I also want to check the pads on the hands to make sure that those are, are good and the screws are good. Uh, for these aluminum crutches, they, they do have the height settings on there, so you can ask the, the patient how tall she is. I'm 5'7". Five 5'7". Seven. Five seven. So this currently is set at 5'5". Five five. So with these, all we need to do is just push the button in and just slide it down, turn it slightly and then pull it down to 5.7. Make sure it locks before we test it. Okay. Once the crutch is ready, um, uh, we also want to make sure that we have a gate belt on. And this gate belt uh, we already put on and that, that'll, it's applied, so we will use that to, to hold on to, to a sister rather than having to hold on to her uh, pants or onto her uh, shoulder for assistance. So I'm going to help Katie up. Okay, once she gets into a standing position, I'm going to have her just stand up as straight as possible. And we're going to put the crutch uh, tip six inches forward, about six inches over to the outside. And she's going to put that under her armpit. Then she's going to put the pad of her hand, uh, heel of her hand onto the uh, crutch pad. Uh, next we want to make sure that there are about two to three inches of space under between the armpit, top of the armpit and the top of the crutch, which there is. Uh, the last thing we want to check, um, I'm going to turn just a little bit Katie. We want to make sure that are we, the elbow is bent at about um, 25 to 30 degrees. And if not, we can adjust this. I'm also going to flip this around Katie so that we have the screw facing forward so it doesn't cut her. Okay, and again, once that's fine, um, then I'm going to grab the other crutch. And again, adjust, make quick adjustments to this. Make it the same height. Make sure the hand this is second one down. And again, for this one, we want to move this six inches up and six inches over. And again, just check the elbow to make sure that it's bent at about 25 to 30 degrees, which it is. Next, you want to instruct the patient um, when she's standing on the crutches. Okay, make sure that she's using the, not her, her shoulders because she can develop crutch palsy, a neurological condition by pinching the nerves under the armpits. Make sure that she's putting all the weight on the palms of her hand uh, as well as sharing the weight on the good leg, which, which is her left leg. Um, we also want to make sure when she, she starts walking to tell her to make sure that she just takes a normal stride, okay, which is about uh, a foot or two in front of her. And we're going to be doing several different gait patterns. Um, but the, another thing I want to mention is the settings on the crutches. You, you don't always want to rely on those. Just like we always want to make sure that it meets the criteria with the elbow bent and the, the finger placement. Because uh, some, cr some crutches do not have those numbers. If everything's fine there, uh, then we're going to, uh, next we're going to do have Katie do a uh, uh, three-point pattern. 
where she's going to bring the crutches forward while I'm supporting, holding on to the gate belt in the back. And she's going to bring the crutches forward. And then she's going to bring the good foot to the crutch while the injured foot. This is for someone who is non-weight bearing at this point. So that's a swing too. So again, she's going to take another step. She, when she's ready, crutches forward, two crutches forward, swing two. Next one, she's going to swing through. So she would advance both crutches at the same time and swing through with the normal gait. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and um, turn back. And then we'll do that a couple times. Katie, go ahead and swing through. Forward, swing through, crutches forward, swing through, crutches forward, swing, two more. Okay, then go ahead and turn around. Next, we're going to have Katie do a um, four point gate. This is for someone who is partial weight bearing. So, for this one, again, holding on to the gate belt, uh, what she's going to do for this one is she's going to bring the uh, the crutches forward with the injured foot at the same time. So go ahead and do that. And then she's going to swing through with the good foot. So with the bad foot, she's going to go crutches and, and bad foot at the same time. Again, just shoulder or just a stride width and then swing through. Crutches and foot forward and then swing through with the good foot. Crutches and foot, swing through. Crutches and foot, swing through. And those are the two gait patterns, or three gait patterns for the uh, crutches. Okay.